Hey YouTube, this is Arjun and today I'm gonna show you basic JavaScript example for creating a web page in which you can turn iPhone screen on and off. So let's get started. First you need two iPhone images, one in which iPhone screen is on and other in which iPhone screen is off. Basically you need to download only one photo and then edit it like I'm going to do. In this video, I am going to use HTML, CSS and JavaScript so watch carefully and learn accordingly. Now you need a text editor to write the code and Notepad is most popular text editor in Windows so first open Notepad. In HTML, first we need to open HTML tag and then inside HTML tag we open another tag such as head, title, body etc. In title tag, we write the title of our website and then close title and head tag respectively. After that, we open body tag. Body tag is what that shows the content of the website. So this tag is basic building block of HTML. Now we need to add iPhone image to our website, which we need to turn iPhone screen on and off. To add image to our web page, we use image tag which is img followed by the source of the image which is written in short as src and then we give height and width to our image so that it look precise. Next we need buttons which act as a trigger to turn iPhone screen on and off. To create buttons in HTML, we use button tag followed by onclick attribute which tells what button do when button is clicked and then we give name to our button say turn on iPhone. Similarly we create other buttons. Inside on click attribute we write javascript code like that. This code changes the src attribute of the element with id img. Similarly, we write the same code for the next button, but this time we change the src attribute to off.jpg image, as this button is used to turn the screen off. JavaScript is used for form validation and dynamic changes of content. And to define JavaScript, we use a script tag. This tag either contains a scripting statement or it points to an external script file through the src attribute. I'm going to show you three types of JavaScript. First inside HTML event attribute, second inside head tag, and third with external JavaScript file. As you guys just see, I just move all the files in the same folder. Now there is no need to write all part of the image. Now let's try to run our website. As you guys see, our website is working correctly. Next, we are going to use JavaScript inside head tag. Using JavaScript inside head tag makes code easy to understand and it load web page faster. To write a JavaScript inside head, we use script tag and after that I'm going to create a function on. You can give any name to your function. 
now open curly bracket and write same code as we write inside on click attribute and don't forget to close curly bracket Similarly, we create O function and after that we call function by writing function name inside on click attribute of button. two more buttons one to hide iPhone and other to show iPhone in external JavaScript we need to create a JavaScript file so again you need a text editor to create a JavaScript file open notepad and write the same code as we did inside head but this time without script tag and save the file with .js extension After that we need to connect both HTML and JavaScript files which can be done by using a script tag with src attribute inside HTML file. I just made a mistake and you guys have 20 seconds to find out the mistake. Let's see what you guys learned so far. Okay guys, time out. Your 20 seconds over and the problem is here. Now the position of buttons change when I click on hide iPhone button. So deal with this situation I'm going to use division tag.
as you see buttons are not looking good to make buttons fancy we use css css are also three types but i am only going to use internal css which is used inside head as we use javascript but we use style tag instead of script tag First we set the button background color, then border, font color, font size etc This red color is so bright and not looking good. To deal with that kind of situation, we use color codes. There are different codes for different color and it is difficult to remember each and every code. So you can find codes in this site. If you found this video helpful, please give thumbs up. Until then, that's been it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, until next time, until next time.